All right, here we are in Elgin, Illinois, taking a look at a uh, office complex that's probably been hit pretty hard by the economy and probably looking for new tenants. Uh, probably a little bit low on the, uh, uh, pretty high on the vacancy rate. Well, they got a lot of ash trees. So we're gonna take a look at the ash trees that uh, this particular office complex had planted probably 25 years ago. the maintenance that's been taking place since that that time. Uh, these trees have been well established, providing value to this property, probably made it a lot easier to lease when these trees were healthy. But uh, you can obviously take a look at the condition of these trees right now. Uh, EAB has been in Elgin for six, seven years, and these trees have obviously been infested for six or seven years. Uh, sorry if I'm shining in the sun, but you can see a lot of dead trees out on the boulevard. A few trees that are still alive, but very, very severely infested with the EAB and on the perimeter, on the interior perimeter, I should say. There's one right there. Um, again, many, many trees. Most of them ash trees. There's a few pines, a few locals. But I would say, by and large, 40% ash on this particular property that are now too far infested to save. So what does that mean to the owner? What is he going to have to do? Each tree is going to have to be cut down because if he leaves them standing, they're probably going to fall on his roof or fall on somebody that's driving through, fall on a tenant, cause significant property damage. And again, I don't want to shine in the sun, but take a look. That tree is pretty much dead. Hey, there's a live tree. Oh, it's a maple. Wait for Asian longhorn beetle, I guess. A crab apple. Another dead ash tree. Large trees, probably 20 inches in diameter. If they'd have been treated two times over the last five years, they'd still be alive, looking beautiful. At a cost to the home, or excuse me, the property owner, probably about $200 a piece over that five year period. Now he's faced with removal costs in the thousands, replacement costs, all because his lawn care landscape provider did not tell him the, the story of EAB and what it could do. wonder if this property owner has the money to take care of these trees or if they're just going to fall on cars. It's the evening right now so there's no cars in the parking lot. But I think a lot of these buildings are rented. There's names on most of the doors. trees that might be savable. By and large, these trees are too far infested, too far gone. Signing off.